everyone. So as you know, there is an Aptoid promo code, Bear Hug. It's really hard coming up with a lot of bear <laughs> names, but that one I think kind of embodies a lot of who I am. So hope you guys use it. I know that a lot of you guys are using whatever you can because you've been ingrained to think that Aptoid doesn't work, but when you are an existing customer, you're absolutely able to use Aptoid still. You just need to use the last version before it changed over. So join the Aptoid Discord so that you can stay on top of being able to use Aptoid. A lot of people are using it. A lot of people are still saving money, plus the people that want that VIP code, you're still on the path to that. So don't forget that there is another game that is freaking majorly awesome. And I'm obviously doing videos on it, but you will get addicted. So even if you end up not playing or using Aptoid for Evany, you will use it for other games, right? In your span of your lifetime, there's going to be more games from Aptoid that you're going to spend on. So why not accrue coins for your future purposes? So anyways, this is an 8 billion keep, and this is on a pretty competitive team, right, in C3. And really, the first thing that I would do for a smaller keep is take buildings, right? Just like speed up to buildings just to get your points to start accruing. Now, it just depends on your team. If you guys have a portal plan or a building plan or you're pushing somebody for BOG wings, you're going to have different assessments on who takes buildings, right? But when there's no plan <laughs> and you just need to get points, I usually would take buildings for a smaller keep. On my keep for the bigger one, I usually focus on rallies and we will get to that. So the other thing that I did was I reinforced PQ right away with my keep. So again, I'm playing both keeps. So I'm a little bit slower on filling rallies. Like I would say a lot slower. I mean, I literally have two devices and it, it's actually really hard to do. Um, so first thing off the bat is what I'm not used to is getting rallied right away. So you're going to be a target. So a couple of things you can do, like uh, things that I could have done differently, right, if I had the time, would be to look at people rallying me, what troop types they would be sending, and either ghost out like the, you know, the, the troop type that they could really kill or reinforce somebody else to ghost it out, right, just so that you have a little bit stronger leverage on killing their troops. And uh, obviously calling out for reinforcement, so making sure you send your coordinates in the chat. There's nothing worse than when people say, rally on me. I mean, yes, after a while, you know your teammates' voices, but you don't know where they're actually at in the hive sometimes. This is why I like hive maps, and I know a lot of people don't like it, but I like hive maps because I memorize where everybody's at. And when people switch it around or people don't follow it, it's hard to find people to reinforce because a lot of times people do not share their cords in chat. So if you get rallied, if you see a red screen, go to that bell, click on it, see if somebody is attacking you with a real march, call out the troop type if possible, right? So that people can send the right troop counter. So if they're sending, you know, ground, somebody's going to reinforce you with cav, that type of thing. Just make sure you're putting it in the chat just so that there's communication. And we got PQ, some good points, first on the leaderboard. And we were going to push PQ for BOG wings, but unfortunately, because BOG is so difficult to get the wings, if you don't hit a, a good threshold on the very first one, it's not really worth trying to catch up, especially at maybe like a, a under 10 billion size. But if you want the purple wings at this size, you really have to be committed. So doing this before a challenge or an all-stars is probably not the wisest idea because you need to save those speed ups and those, you know, resources and everything for those events. So it's best to kind of do it when you don't have those events going on and your team can then really focus on pushing you. I really hate people that point trade in BOGs and BOCs. Like, I get it. I get, you know, people are trying to do what they got to do, but you're really taking 
the fun away from the team and the game when it's just like everything is just so orchestrated. I mean, if you're a really good player, be a good player. You don't have to cheat, you know? And I'm not like judging. Like I'm sure a lot of people need to have the help. I'm sure a lot of people need to get the points, but like to do it excessively just takes away from the game. So I really don't advocate for that. Um, but if you have a great team behind you and supporting you, they will have you take all the buildings and get all the points and make sure that you get targets that are soloable, right? Like those are the amazing things that teams can do to help each other without having to uh, go solo as to always point trade. Like it's just, it's just, yeah. Anyways, so being on a smaller keep is is a different way to gameplay for sure. So I almost feel like um, I almost feel like I played the PQ account better than my own. Um, but I will say that when I play other people's accounts, I tend to play better. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just who knows. So looks like we're getting points here. All good. So as you see, PQ is getting points from obviously defending, but also attacking. So that is basically kind of the gist of everything. Um, I would say that the way the game is trending, and as we have seen, a lot of people are getting a lot more points from taking rallies, right? And so making sure you're maxing out your embassy, making sure that you're really taking advantage of the reinforcement game is important. And there was a C5 event with Neff. And you know, you guys, I always, uh, you know, sing praises about Neff. And I had the interview with Huntress. And I'm really proud, by the way, that from that interview, uh, one of my friends actually is now joining Neff because um, from that interview. So I'm really, I'm really excited. And she's a female player. And I just think that it's awesome to really bring the the women players together in the community, because I just think it's it's a cool layer to have in a game. So with that said, so look at PQ's points here, better than mine. Uh, and, and I think that's the thing too, is, um, when, so here, the thing about like rally points is obviously like, it, it has to do with your buffs, but it also has to do with who's in the rally, right? So if you have like three, four, five, six people that have way better buffs than you and get into the rallies faster because their march speed is faster, you're not going to be in the top chain of points, Right. And so that's the other thing, too, is you don't I think that's why for myself, like I don't try to be like a rally hog because there's so many people that need to get points in the alliance that are, you know, smaller or whatever. So if they get in first, a lot of times if they get in first, they will get more points. I don't know. It's like a Ebony theory if you get in before everyone else you get more points because of the lineup of how the mechanics work i might be just talking out of my you know but that is what i have seen as a pattern and that's kind of like what a lot of people talk about so i think that if you are fast okay even like sapphire played her four billion account and that girl would score like so many points but she also used a lot of March speeds, okay? And she is super fast. She's a PvP queen, but she can make a lot of points with that size account. And that is because, not because of the buffs, right? It's because she would be able to join those rallies so fast. So I just think it's one of those things for you guys to think about when you're a smaller player. And, uh, you know, this is all relative. When I say an 8 billion count is small, it's not small. Like, you might be a 2 billion account or a 3 billion account, but the same thing applies, right? Except for when you're under 3 billion, you can actually ghost out troops and you kind of have to be more of a, a ghoster than you are like just strictly like sitting there getting reinforcements and rallying. 
Now, uh, one of the things that I'm going to try to get some clips from the Neff event is they talked about reactive uh, reinforcing, and they're just so fast on that, right? And the one thing that teaches you how to reinforce quickly, if you actually took the took the event seriously, is like the 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 night one, the zombie one. I forgot what it's called. I'm sorry, because I never play it anymore. Um, but in the beginning of the game, when it's all brand new, right? Like in the very beginning of the server, you are able to get so many points by reinforcing people as it, you know, as they get hit by the marches, pulling out and then putting it in somebody else as it gets hit by the marches. So if you start practicing that type of reacting reinforcing, it will actually help you train for that in battlefields, right? Obviously, after a while, it, the event is just kind of like you just let it run because, you know, you get enough troops where you're going to get points and you're going to get the rewards and, and it's all good. And it becomes, you know, whatever. But in the beginning of your server, in the beginning of your game, if you really start practicing, like doing the reactive reinforcing and getting those points every time one of those marches hits a castle, you can win that event and not be the biggest right? You can actually, there's actually a lot of people that win that event and are not the biggest. So that's, I don't know, just a point of thought that I thought to uh, let you know. Um, so, so yeah, so you see how PQ is now down to 4 billion, but still sticking in there um, and actually still has a camp. I'm actually surprised that that camp has survived. Um, yeah, and and you see these returning marches. So normally, if if that was my keep, I would speed those returning marches back. But when I'm filling for other people, um, if I don't feel like there's a threat coming on, and and you know I don't need to teleport or anything, I'll just let the returning marches march unless uh, we you know something is coming up like a rally. And uh, okay, so I remember this. So. We, I remember I went to dinner, I logged off, and uh, Scooby came in like last minute, like maybe the last, I don't know, 10 minutes, the last 15 minutes. And uh, he started uh, soloing. Did he so? Yeah, he soloed PQ. Um, but you know, when I went offline, I made sure to reinforce and other people reinforced. So obviously, these, these reports are looking good. And that's about it. So do I recommend uh, doing two accounts at one time? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Find a filler. Find somebody else to do it. But if you need to have the power, you know, for, for the matchup, if you have to do it, it's possible, right? Um, I will say that I, I had a lot of fun playing on PQ's account. Uh, and I think he is built very well. I'll do a keep review. I wasn't able to have time to actually um, look inside all of his stuff, but I will do a keep review because I think that's kind of interesting. Um, and we're doing some rallies here. I don't think we zero Scooby. Scooby is an awesome guy. Shout out to Scooby. Uh, really just amazing gentleman and uh, love Zevany very much. And so here's our ending points. And you'll see here, let me scroll down so you can see PQs. There we go, 22, not bad. All right, I hope this was useful to somebody. And please use my app toy code, bear hug.